G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, just got this Callistamine back on the bench. It's only been probably two months, might not even be two months, since we gave it a bit of a prune back. Um, but it's in full spring growth, doing really, really well. Really happy with how this is growing. Um, just want to pull the growth back and just keep everything ramifying. Because from here, really what we're working on is that big ramified canopy that will sit over the top of this tree and just set that trunk off really nice. But if we just leave it grow, it's just gonna grow tall and long and straight. So we just need to keep on top of bringing everything back, letting it divide. Everywhere we cut it back, it should send out two shoots and divide into two. And we can just divide and divide and divide and end up with that really nice thick lush canopy. We don't have to keep all those branches that divide but it gives us a lot of choices when it comes to like final styling and how we're doing our pads and things like that. Whereas if we just let them go straight, you know, you'd, you'd just have one branch that would just shoot for the stars. So we just need to keep on top of it. There's quite a lot of branches here in really, really close. We probably won't keep all of them in the end. Um, we probably direct one of these out a little bit just to bring this out further. I may even throw some wire on that and send one out this way. Or we can let it shoot and let it grow that way naturally. Probably will wire it. Most of these do have really, really strong upward growth, so they don't tend to want to grow outwards too much. But yeah, just going to bring everything back. Which is pretty much the story of what I'm doing with a lot of my natives right at this time of year. We're sort of mid-spring. Everything's growing really strongly. I mean, some places like this, you've got one, two, three, four branches really close together, growing in the same direction. We could get rid of a whole heap of them, or, you know, we could wire them in slightly different directions. Might even throw a little bit of wire on them and get them pointing in different, different paths. Just spread them a little just to separate them so they're not all growing right together. Um. These really long ones up the top, they can come right back. They'll have no trouble shooting out heaps of growth. There's a branch or a little shoot coming out in there that's probably not required. May leave that for now. That one there is probably not needed. We'll just throw a little bit of wire on this one I was talking about before. 
on this side branch. Just to point it outwards a little bit. And then that can continue out here and continue to get a little bit of outward growth. Some of these we may end up only keeping one of those. But for now, I think that's okay. So even that one there, we may not keep long term. We've got one coming out this way. We've got one here that we can use. We don't probably need all of these. So we'll probably make some selections in the near future on what's being kept there. Um, everything else looks like it's trucking along pretty good. Um, the only thing we probably could do be pull that back branch down a little. But, uh, it's probably all right where it is. Um, yeah, so that's that for the little Callisterman. Change trees. Righto, this one is our humpback Bougainvillea. Uh, it's probably been six months since we threw him in the pot. He's not doing too bad. Um, he's just really starting to put some growth on now. But again, just want to bring everything back and sort of pull it into line. Um, got a bit of crossing over stuff here at the back that I was having a look at before. This is on the back of the tree, so I probably only really want one back branch. And I don't know that I want this one. This one here looks like it'll probably be a better proposition long term. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this one. Probably cut this one back so it can start ramifying there. Um, back to the front. It's all probably not too bad. This one on the trunk here we don't need. Want to be able to just see all that trunk. I reckon that'll look cool in time. I mean, it looks pretty cool now, but... Um, starting to get a lot of shoots down here, which is good. So I'm going to bring this one back just to get that ramification happening down lower. I mean, my, my vision is sort of to have a triangle of foliage, probably up to about here somewhere down and maybe on a little bit of an angle up, like sort of a bit of a tilted triangle should be pretty cool. Um, this one here. It's getting a lot of little branches, but we'll bring it back so it can ramify too. And the top pretty much do the same. That branch there could probably be bent over a little bit to bring it back over and start filling in this side. But it needs to come back down so that we can start getting ramification going. Same on all these, any of these longer shoots. Just a little bit of a cut pack. I might throw some wire on that. Probably don't need much. Yeah, we'll just curve him out that way and he can start coming to fill all this side in. And that's nearly all we need to do that far. Quick and brutal. Um, but as this thing settles into its pot, it is starting to send little shoots out all over the place. Um, so yeah, I think he's, he's going to do all right. Um, so that's it. That's... Um, Pretty much what I'm spending my mid-spring doing is just bringing all these trees, bringing their growth back in, um, just keeping them under control because they're growing pretty strong. Uh, they all seem to really like the bonsai mixer in. Um, the one thing I do need to do moving forward when I do these repots is to try and get some sort of covering on the soil, um, whether I use some cut up sphagnum moss or something. I know traditionally you're supposed to use moss. I don't really have access to a lot of moss. I am trying to get stuff 
that will grow. The calistamin's got a little bit on it. There's a few trees that got a little bit on it. Um, just to keep the sunlight and the heat off that soil surface and keep that moisture up to the surface so that the, the trees can utilize the whole soil mix that's in the pot. Um, the top sort of dries out the quickest when it's in the sun and so the, the roots won't sort of come up to the surface. But uh, moving forward, that's something I need to do a little bit better. But um, yeah, so far everything's looking pretty good this, this spring. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see how they all deal with the summer heat. We've got a little bit of spring left, so don't know that I'll do too much more pruning on these ones. Might just see how they go with the summer heat and um, yeah, worry about them again in autumn. But yeah, we'll see how they go. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.